Holy shit, guys, we did it. We got to a thousand subscribers. Well, I say we, I mean, I, I'm the one with a thousand subscribers, but, um, you know, if it wasn't for you, I would not be there. I would not be where I am now. I would not have 1,000 subscribers if it was not for you, therefore, we did it together. What is your favorite Doctor Who episode? <laughs> what the fuck is your profile picture, dude? At my favorite Doctor Who episode, uh, I can't think of one off the top of my head. I do really like the Doctor Dancers, and I do really like Blink. Um, I do also, actually, the Impossible Planet and Satan Pit stories are fantastic, but, um, I think that answer, the answer to that question will come as I finish, or, no, as, not as I finish, as I continue through Doctor Who Did It Sucks. How did you come up with your profile picture? Two questions, very greedy of you. Okay, my profile picture, the current one, the new one, the best one I've ever had, is a picture of, uh, in, in the film, Howl's Moving Castle. Everyone, please go and check it out. Because it's good enough for me to name my channel after. I think it's worth checking out, you know. Go and do that. The face is part of this kind of mechanical robot thing that stems out of the castle in the movie, Howl's Moving Castle. And uh, I really like it. It looks like a really cool mechanical helmet thing. It's, I know I'm kind of ripping on Armoured Skeptic a bit here, but uh, with the suit and helmet thing, but I think it's just it's just such a great iconic face. I really like red suits. I don't know why. I'd, I'd really like to get one when I've got enough money to buy one that's tailor fit, tailor made. That would be really great. Will you review other Doctor Who episodes soon? Would love to see you talk about the classics as well as the ones from series two onwards. Also, will you fuck me? Um, another very greedy YouTuber here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start reviewing Doctor Who again. I, I haven't thought of what episodes I'm gonna do after the finale of series one, but I'll let you guys know. I don't think I'll be doing any classics. I'm gonna watch some though. As for the second part of your question, um, gladly. What editing software do you use? I use uh, Camtasia. It's really great. It's so basic and does everything I want it to. I would like to get something like Adobe Premiere, but I'm, I'm for fear of it being too complicated. Like I'm so comfortable with Camtasia and I'm doing so well with it. It would be a wasted effort if I was to start learning it because the quality of my videos would dip for a considerable amount of time and I'd just be like, oh, I want to go back. I want to go back to Camtasia. Um, but that's the software I use. What do you think the worst episode of New Who is? A uh, girl who died, undoubtedly. Unfucking doubtedly. Um, I can't believe that episode was actually made. Will you be doing collaborations with other YouTubers in the near future, along with any more live streams? Collaborations, I did one with G Bros. Um, I'll link that in the description if you wanna check it out, cause he does content. Um, he's doing a whole load more content now, I think because school's finished for him and um, he's uploading more frequently. I think especially for some of my younger viewers, uh, go and check him out because he's, he's, he's got a good heart and his content is pretty cool, if you like that kind of thing. Mainly like superhero stuff, but um, yeah, check out that video if you want to. But um, I don't know if I will be doing any more. If somebody asks me to, ask me. Ask me if you want to do a collab with me. Um, I'll check out your content and see if it's worthwhile, you know. Um, I'm not going to just do it for any random silly body, but you know. Um, I might do, I don't know. Live streams, haven't even considered it. I might do, I might do it. If I can find something to do whilst I'm streaming, because I get so bored. I get so fucking bored streaming, man. Like, I'm just sitting there doing nothing and speaking to the chat and it just gets boring, man. Who would you make the next Doctor? I think I've answered this before in the comments section before, but... It's not about who is the next Doctor. It's about if they make a good Doctor. I don't care who it is, as long as they make the character good and they are written well. You can put any actor or actress in there um, and make them shit. If the, sh if the writing is shit, 
then your character is going to be shit, you know, and everyone's going to hate it. But I think Capaldi's doing a pretty good job at the moment. Again, it's just the writing. The writing spoils it for him, and like, it's unfortunate because I think Capaldi is ideal at the moment. I re it's the Doctor I kind of wanted whilst Matt Smith was going on, but it's st he's still written really badly. That's the problem with it. What series of movies do you plan to shit on after Harry Potter? I don't shit on Harry Potter. I just give a modest opinion. Uh. I haven't got a clue. I really don't know what kind of movies I want to review after Harry Potter. Do you actually have a moving castle? No. Any thoughts on the Cursed Child and Fantastic Beasts? Okay, Cur I'm, I'm actually going to see Cursed Child in the theatres. I was, I was one of the um, early risers of the thousands of people that uh, went and got tickets online on the day it came out. I'm very concerned that it's going to be just this big hyper spectacle piece of nonsense that doesn't really seem to serve any purpose other than a big cash grab. As for Fantastic Beasts, I, I'm probably not going to... I might see it. I don't know. I'm just not really concerned about Fantastic Beasts because it, it was a little book that Rowling wrote and now it's suddenly become this big Hollywood fiasco and I just don't... I don't buy into that, man. Like, it's... It's just gone a bit too far, I think. I, I think that there's... They should just leave Harry Potter as it is. That's the thing. It's like, I don't mind them going and making all of this stuff, but I'm... I'm not excited for it, really. If you could bring back one monster for series 10, which would it be and pitch the story, right? <sighs> I wouldn't want them to bring back any monsters because I want the show to be a bit more original, but, you know. Um, what are your thoughts on the new Ghostbusters? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's garbage. It's a fucking piece of shit. Everyone says that. Everyone knows it's going to be crap. The best thing everybody can do is not go and see it. I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, just don't, don't buy into it. Don't give them your money. Don't go and see it. Let it flop. Let it be a disaster because it, the whole thing is a joke. Nobody wanted it. Nobody asked for it. And yet here it is. Did you have any YouTube inspirations who made you want to start reviews? I know lots of people were inspired by Nostalgia Critic and Angry Joe. Uh, Nostalgia Critic, yeah, he's he kind of inspires me. He's not, I don't think Doug is my favorite reviewer on YouTube. I just think like he's a very safe reviewer. He does all of the like, all of the really shit movies, you know. But uh, Angry Joe, I, I never watched any of his videos, so I don't know. But um, if you want to check out my inspirations, I've got it in my channel. There's a whole bunch of YouTubers like Sargon of Akkad, YMS. Um, I would like to check out some more film critics, but I don't know. YMS has always been the one that stood out to me the most, though. Like, I, I really like his content above all, and like, my format is very similar to his. Please don't give me a copyright strike for that if you ever find my channel, YMS. Are you happy with the EU referendum results? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm happy. I'm happy we voted to leave. I think the one thing that I'm most unhappy about is the reaction from the Remain camp, though. Like, so many people are just crying like little babies about this. Oh, we should have another referendum. No, fuck off. Your campaign was clearly not as good as the other one. Just deal with it. Do you think that the Harry Potter films would be better as three-hour movies like The Lord of the Rings? Well, Chamber of Secrets extended cut is basically three hours, but um, it's not the length as such. I think there just is a lot of pieces of information that could have been put in there, in certain ones, specifically the Goblet of Fire. Um, but lengthwise, I think they're fine. I don't think there's, there's a certain length that any film should abide to. The Lord of the Rings gets it right because there is so much detail to it. Harry Potter is very much focused on Harry Potter. How big is your dick? That's none of your business. I was wondering if you would ever do reviews of each individual Star Wars movie, even the prequels. I will do reviews of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi at some point in my life. I won't do the prequels because They've already, they've already been reviewed to death. There's no point me doing them. What is the worst movie I've ever seen? Fear not. I will be reviewing the worst movie I've ever seen. Very soon.
but not that soon. What is the one movie you think everyone should watch before they die? It could be any type or age. Well, there we go then. I'll, I'll say it, yeah. Uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Everyone should watch it. I don't care if you love it or hate it. Everyone should watch it at some point. It is, it's the, 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 the pinnacle of science fiction where everything started. The special effects are absolutely groundbreaking for 1968 where CG was not a thing. It's, it's a masterpiece and it's, it's influenced so many other filmmakers in, who make sci-fi, specifically uh, Steven Spielberg. You know, it, the scale of 2001 is just something to behold. And if, if you really, if you're into that kind of thing, take some drugs and watch that movie. Take some really hard drugs and watch it. But even if you're a kid, you know, that movie, I remember when I first watched it, I was quite struck by it. It's 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 something to behold. Like, go and watch 2001 A Space Odyssey. Go and watch it. So that pretty much wraps it up. 1,000 subscribers. If you do, I, I, I think we can make it to two. I've been doing this for like nearly two years now. I reckon we could do it in the next year. I reckon we can. Anyway, thank you all for your questions. The next project, of course, is the Doctor Who series one finale. As soon as I've done finished recording this, I'm going to I'm going to fucking get on with it cuz you all deserve it. You all deserve a really good, fat, juicy Doctor Who review. And I'm going to make it really good. Anyway, adiós amigos.